page or different application and it provides also the HTML report. This is also one popular tool. So the migration strategies also can be used. So now I will talk about the secure, the different secure testing tools which uh, uh, actually widely used in the like industry and there are some like you know uh, comments and uh, with regard to their functionalities. NTO Spizer that is the vulnerability testing tool and uh, provide analysis for compliance report of the PCI. So that is the like you know one important feature and also the OW, ASP, SOX and the HIPAA and the security standards are there. Apart from that there is a Paros which is a Java based proxy type vulnerability scanning and testing tools. AppScan is uh, from the IBM but it's a very robust security testing tool. It can be used in the development QA as well as the uh, pre-production boxes as well. It is the security which can be used for the enterprise level. Then we have the like you know Aquantix uh, which is web application, web service and database can be tested including the penetration testing. It can be used for the unit regression, integration and the system testing as well. So this is also like you know useful for the web services testing. This is uh, quite popular, the Aquantix uh, which is for the web services testing. The Senjik uh, Hailstorm that is a vulnerability testing tool, uh, not the penetration one. So all the tools are here do not necessarily will have the penetration testing capability. Some of the tools are actually the like you know uh, freeware. So uh, Senji Hailstorm is one of them. Web Scrub it is also a security testing framework uh, from the WSP that is again like you know freeware. Proxmon is a penetration testing tool. Uh, it's a robust penetration testing tool. HTTP print, it is a <coughs> web server fingerprinting tool and it relies on the web server characteristics to uh, ac accurately identify the web servers. The netcraft, which is the testing configuration errors and application loopholes in server code of the scripts. There is scanweb, which assesses the web 2.0 applications. So you find there are a couple of tools uh, which are using the modern technologies like web 2.0 uh, on the web services. So ScanWeb is one of them. Similarly, uh, Acunetics are uh, a few of those. Next is the Qualsys, which is the penetration testing tool and is a simple and easy to uh, navigate the web interface. The Pantera is there which creates any phases of the HDLC across uh, requirements to design to development to testing and is highly customizable and can be tailored to our needs as well. It is it also provides the OWSP uh, specific like you know uh, different uh, security uh, remediation uh, criteria. Code impact that is vulnerability and penetration testing tool. Temporary uh, we just uh, discussed and we inspect also we just discussed and uh, Fortify is uh, another one which, that is uh, integrated with the static code analysis and binary code analysis and it also can be used across the different uh, servers like development server, QA server as well as the pre-production server. So JData proxy it is a penetration testing tool and a Parasoft uh, SWA test that is uh, again web services testing tool uh, which has got the penetration uh, testing capabilities. Then uh, we have the app code scan which is uh, integrated in HDLC and supports both Java and the .NET, Ajax, Adia and the WS. So uh, this is more or less the tools uh, which we generally uh, use and can be uh, downloaded or some of those as a free wire. So uh, uh, that's all like you know more or less uh, with regard to the presentation part and now I will move into like into the question and session. These are the, some of the references which I have used here 